Brewing Energy Solutions recently subscribed for Field Service Lightning. The newly hired Salesforce admin, Kelly, was asked to set up the system ASAP for the first test group of 10 users. She starts by installing the Field Service Lightning Managed Package on her company's org, an essential component of the application as it provides four critical parts. A dispatcher console, automatic sharing and user permission setup, an administration console, and of course the scheduling and optimization abilities themselves. With the managed package in place, it's time to configure the field service parameters. There's a lot to cover, and Kelly's not sure where to begin. Fortunately for Kelly, the Spring 18 release of Field Service Lighting Managed Package introduced an incredible tool, the Guided Setup, which will take Kelly through creating of service territories and operating hours, defining work types and skills, assignment of agents, dispatchers, and service resources, and even configuring the scheduling policies. Kelly reviews the six parts of the Guided Setup. These are organized by a logical configuration sequence. Later, Kelly will reference the dashboard at the bottom to keep track of all records created. Very useful, and she can always go back here and quickly navigate to whatever requires further administration or update. The first step is to define service territories. The company operates in two major cities, San Francisco and Los Angeles. As soon as Kelly adds a territory, she can edit its details on the right-hand side. These are important, as they will indicate to the system when people can actually be scheduled for work and the address of their depot, so the system knows where they will be starting their day from. Individual addresses per resource may be configured later. Next, Kelly defines the type of work her field team does, including several important parameters. Standard time frame for service delivery, duration, and required skills. This is an important section as the scheduling logic will rely on these work type parameters for scheduling and optimization. Now Kelly is going to define the schedulable resources. This section enables Kelly to handle several complex steps on the fly, including Gantt labels, assignment of specific service territories, and license provisioning, and to later manage the basics of existing resources such as activation status, Gantt labels, licenses, permissions, and skills. It's time to set up the dispatcher. Doing so grants the user with access to the scheduling Gantt and specific service territories. Kelly knows the company is about to grow and more dispatchers are soon to join on board. This UI will make it really simple to divide the work and control who is able to see what service territory along with related resources and service appointments. Truth-based appointment booking is an important aspect of field service lighting as it allows companies to dramatically enhance the accuracy of this process. Kelly knows the CEO is particularly interested in being able to offer realistic two-hour time slots and introduce same-day service. In this section, Kelly quickly defines the time slots the system should display when booking appointments, provided, of course, a qualified resource is actually available at that time. And now, in less than 10 minutes, Kelly finds herself at the heart of the system, the scheduling policies. She reviews the policies available out of the box, selects customer first, and tweaks a bit to align it with company goals. Greater emphasis on scheduling as soon as possible, while minimizing overtime, one of the highest cost drivers in their field operation. The system is now configured. Kelly's organization can now proceed to test its scheduling abilities and start managing their field operation with field service lightning.